Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Corvante here. I'm back with another video, more of a personal video besides the semen retention. Um, you know, for the past couple of days, man, even when I had my flu that I just, uh, I just got over recently, um, going through that hell, thinking about everything in my life, bro, thinking about everything that's been going on. Honestly, guys, I'll tell you this for certain, bro, like, we have to come to a realization that in this life, in this world, bro, if we don't find a purpose in life, the devil will find one for you. What I'm saying is if you're just aimlessly living, chasing, you know, a certain status at a job, chasing a degree in college, you know, chasing after some pussy, chasing after dick if you're a chick, chasing after materialistic external sexual lustful you know just non-spiritual aspects in life if that's what you're chasing bro you're not you're not gonna find anything good in life you're not gonna have true fulfillment in life you're gonna have a big empty hole inside of you what i'm saying is besides your job besides besides trying to get at a certain level in life if when it comes to a company or when it comes to building your family you know besides responsibility and main duties of being a man or woman in this world you have to find something bro you have to find something that you feel like god or whoever you believe in whatever that you have to feel you have to search for something or live for something that you feel like that's the reason why you're on this planet because that is honestly what brings true happiness bro that's what brings true fulfillment internally when you are internally spiritually fulfilled that's when you can truly start enjoying your life oh you know i was just watching a video from beyond the alchemy uh shout out to him i just really honestly i've been subscribed to him for a couple weeks now but I just truly started watching his videos today because I'm off today for work, so. And, dude, what he's saying is no lie, bro. Like, he he just hit a nerve in me. Like, if you're looking for external things to fulfill your life or bring you some sort of happiness, dude, you have failed as a human being because you, you will not find that. You will not find that, bro. These things are... these. The, re the resources of what this world can offer you are very short supply. It's very limited. Instead of, you know, instead of finding things spiritually, learning who you are, becoming the person that you're destined to be. You know, all I'm saying is when it comes to women, men, you know, being lustful, having sex, getting materialistic things, getting as much money as you can, getting at a certain status so everybody can see you, you want to be famous or anything like that. You want to show off your lifestyle that you're pretending to live in front of people to impress. All that stuff. It's like everybody is just yearning to be a god among among women and men. Everybody is yearning to be a god among other people to get that validation that will never satisfy you. It just won't satisfy you, bro. Like if dude, that's why you if you could, there's bums. There are bums, homeless people in this world that have, that are at way more peace and have much more happiness than, than rich people. And I get it. People are going to say the ignorant stuff like, oh, they're bums, so they don't care. They don't have anything to pay for. They don't have anything to mainly live for. But what I'm saying is I've seen a lot of homeless people, a lot of bums, be spiritually and, and happy at peace. Not the ones high off of meth or whatever drugs they're on. I'm talking about a lot of, you know, very, you know, a lot of homeless people that have certain wisdom, a je ne sais quoi about them. They're, they're, they're very atoned with the earth and they know what's going on. I'm not talking about those far out homeless people, but what I'm saying is that just don't, don't depend on external things to bring you happiness in this world. Don't depend on materialistic things. Don't depend on sex. Don't depend on the most basic, you know, the most basic addicting stuff that a human being can just easily reach for. Those instant gratifications 
or you know like i said the dollar you know like you don't don't put that to being your fulfillment and happiness do not attach that to your happiness because it will always fail and you will never win and you will continue to be miserable for the rest of your life and i really see that today like I, my goal is to, i want to be a musician i would like to be a musician i want to be a singer and i, I want to be a rapper that's i want to I would love to be in the industry even though I know how evil it is and I know how corrupted it is. But ever since, you know, I was young, I used to love battle rapping. I used to love, you know, writing stories and anime stories, writing music, just stories in general. I used to love singing when, you know, when I was in, um, in eighth grade going up to high school. I really feel like that is why I'm here because a lot of, I felt like I was here to serenade the people in this world you know bring them happiness with my music and bring them joy and that brings me joy to have that atmosphere when i'm making music and i actually get to reveal music to people and and i record the music and it's and it feel it sounds good it makes me feel it makes me feel whole that is my sole purpose that is what i believe my sole purpose is and i found that and i've realized that and i want to keep chasing that until i get to a certain point in my life to where that could take me to places or take me to situations where I never thought possible. That is my purpose. What I'm saying is that's why each of us as individuals, our job is to find our purpose. And again, I'm not talking about a job. I'm not talking about, you know, money, sex, alcohol, drugs, any of that materialistic external stuff. Get that shit out of here. I'm talking about your sole purpose. Why are you here? What makes you transcend this world and puts you in a state of bliss and euphoria? that you never felt possible, you know, that you've never felt possible until you figure out what your purpose is and that's the feeling that it gives you. You have to find that purpose that gives you that transcendent euphoric feeling that no drug or no amount of sex or no amount of money can ever bring you. You have to find that purpose. And if you're not finding any type of purpose, the devil has plenty of traps out here for you to fall into you, be a slave to sex, be a slave to money, be a slave to drugs, be a slave to alcohol, and that'll start to become your habit, and then that'll slowly start to become your purpose. I've met so people, in my, I, I've met so much people in my life that were so talented, so gifted, and they fell prey to drugs, sex, and alcohol. They just fell prey to the basic statistic of what mainly controls humans, what mainly sends ruin to the depths of, that what sends humans to that it turns humans into ruins bro like legit that's what sex alcohol drugs that's what living off of external pleasures will turn you into it'll turn your heat it'll turn humans into ruins it will it will ruin you that's the only thing that you could find in that legit and that's what mean that's what mainly a lot of human and a lot of people you know get attached to that's what mainly becomes their purpose i've met so much people in my life again what i was saying that are so talented and they fell, and they fell victim to that. All they started to do was lose their passion in sports, get into drugs, getting into drinking. There's just, you ever met guy, like the certain guy friends that I had, all they did was talk about chicks and sex. I'm like, bro, is there anything else that, you know, is in your brain besides that? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you're so, you're one dimensional, bro. Like, is there anything else in that noggin of yours that can, you know, transcend thinking about having sex entering a female drinking alcohol smoking weed is there anything else that you bring to the table besides that that you used to bring to the table i had a friend who was amazing at sports this man was a genetic freak and then he just nothing he he this guy i'm like bro you're going to the nfl bro like you got it sir like you're amazing like you know what i'm saying and his life became nothing there's guys that I know in the mu you know who do music so good or they just have they just have that they have that musical it factor that I always saw in them but they didn't see it in themselves and now they're just you know they're just living a mediocre life like you know being a slave to the system instead of breaking the program that's why I said once you find your purpose and you invest every single cell in your body every single inkling of your body into achieving that goal and that purpose you will eventually get to a point in your life to where 
it can satisfy your needs and finances and it'll satisfy your needs inside spiritually internally and that's when you really start to look at yourself and and be happy at who you're looking at that's when you start to enjoy life at a fulfilling level once you find that but the devil will always have traps to distract you and 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 make your purpose about all the carnal you know sinful things that mainly every human you know makes their purpose and that's just drinking having sex getting as much money as they can you know you know obsessing making their job their life and they become miserable and they become addicted to their job and in reality that job doesn't give two shits about you and they'll replace you like that like it's you can't we we can't we can't live this way anymore y'all we just can't we can't do this bro there has to, you got to find your purpose before it's too late before you get too old and consumed into a purposeless life that you never wanted and you just become miserable you live a miserable boring mediocre life and you're so miserable on why you didn't take that chance on why you didn't give it your all your 1000% to achieve that goal to chase your purpose you know what I'm saying? To live out your dreams. Like, you cannot, we cannot let this evil as demonic, satanic system of a world pull us from our purpose. Especially if it's a productive and positive purpose that you were sent here to, you know, partake in, that you were sent here to do. The devil doesn't want you to achieve that. The devil does not want you to achieve that. He does not want you to have a, a productive and, and, and beautiful purpose that you achieve and then you help other people he is all about uh, you know uh the devil is a roaring lion seeking for so seeking souls that he may devour bro he feeds off of destruction misery sex depression just everything low vibrational and negative that gives him power and once you're going against that force of energy and you're bringing nothing but positive beautiful and, and blessful energy and that's what you're bringing he does not want you to achieve that he will throw every obstacle at you he will throw every distraction he'll throw every person he will jump into the people that you care about the most and those same people that you love and care about they'll change on a dime and you'll be like dude are you even the same person no they're not they're spiritually possessed demonically here sent to destroy you bro here to be possessed by these spirits to distract you, to destroy you, to throw you off your loop to where you can't achieve that destiny and that purpose that you're always meant to have, bro, and that you're always meant to be. And again, that's why I'm, you know, I'm stating that if you don't find your purpose, if you don't find a, your purpose, bro, the devil will find one for you. And it's going to be, it's not going to be good. It's, it's not going to be good. You got people out here committing suicide, man. People out here living a full life of misery. Can you imagine just living, like living? You know, you're you're eight, you, you turn eighteen, you get you get into a job, and you get stuck at that job until you're like 50, 60, 70 years old. You die, and that's your life. No, we're not doing that here, y'all. We got one life to live. As cliche as it sounds, and as corny as it sounds, bro. Yolo, you only live once. I agree. Why not give it your all? physically spiritually mentally why not give it your all for your purpose dude like the other day like i said for these past couple of days i've really been thinking i've really been thinking on that man we can't allow this pro this program this evil system this demonic system bro this evil ass system we can't allow this system to break us down and destroy us and turn us into and just turn us into bots break the system bro Break the statistic. Achieve your dreams. Achieve your goal, bro. Find your purpose. Don't let this, don't let Satan give one, don't let Satan find a purpose for you. Find yours before it is too late, guys, please. That's all I want to say. And I'm talking to myself as well. I'm tired of people living a life that they regret. Living a life knowing that they didn't give their full being and chasing their dream and becoming the person that they knew and they were destined to be but they allowed this evil system to turn them into somebody that 
they didn't get a chance to fulfill their whole destiny. Alright guys, that's it for me, man. I just wanted to just do this video real quick and, and just shed some light on finding your purpose and becoming that person that you're always meant to be. And I pray for your... And I pray that it's that the purpose you find is someone that is someone who can help other people because we need more leaders in this world now than ever. And if your purpose leads you to become a leader and help people get to where they need to be, then that's great. But guys, I hope you guys learned something from this video. It's Corvante. I'm out and I'll see you guys in the next video. I got one more for you guys later.